There's a company in Cincinnati called Robbins Sports Surfaces. The Lakers are world champions on that floor that they built there. North Carolina's national championships in college basketball on the court they built there. I'm going to challenge this company in Cincinnati, Robbins Sports Services, to rebuild this floor so that you can be state champions when you're a senior. I'm in bed in New Orleans and, and my CFO calls me and says, hey, you need to check, you need to go over to McDonald's. We need to do something with that floor. They just called out to put a floor in. And I woke up and I said, uh, okay. And I, then I got over here and uh, I called Robbins and, and Robbins between Robbins Sports Services and Covering Flooring Company. We're going to get a new floor in here. So, all right. All right. All right. That was an incredible moment last year on Morning Joe yeah. when Robbins Sports Services yeah, pledged to fix the floor at John McDonough High School in New Orleans. That guy's scary. Yeah. The Look, poor kid next to him, scared to death. We got to tell the full story. We were at McDonough. Right. We're in the gym. The floor has got waves in it, practically. Oh, it was Digger Phelps, of course. Digger Phelps, great former college Notre Dame coach. Legend. He said, Somebody get me the name of the most prominent flooring company in the country. And I'm going to put him on the spot right now. So we get the Robbins. Google. Robbins, they do the Lakers, they do everybody else. He goes on the air and issues a challenge yeah. to Robbins. And just as we're packing up the show, we're off the air. That man you saw there, Joe Covington, comes into the gym and says, I'm here to put in a new floor. So he got the message and came to the gym. Unbelievable. Ten months later, they've stayed true to their word. Look at this time-lapse photography. Joining us now, the CEO of Robbins Sports oh Services, my God. Jay Stair. So, so you're the man. All uh, right. Also with him, the director of Starbucks Community <laughs> Investments and executive director of the Starbucks Foundation, Rodney Hines. Starbucks is also following up with a pledge of its own there at McDonough and a student from John McDonough High School, the point guard, the Cornelius. man with the ball, Cornelius. Cornelius, Cornelius good to see you. He was with us. He runs the show for the team down there. First things first, Cornelius, how does the squad look this year? Uh, I don't know. I ain't seen the squad yet. But everybody asked me, is I'm balling this year? So I said, yeah, I'm balling. Well, you're going to be balling a little bit better on the floor. Uh, Jay, talk to us about uh, the transformation of that gym and what you all put into it. Well, the original floor, as Digger had indicated, was not in the best of shape. So with our commitment, we put in a world-class, the premium basketball floor. It's called the MVP system. Uh, Joe Covington Jr. and his installation crew did an outstanding job, and you can see very plainly uh, what a great job they did. That's, that's a beautiful floor. It's you know basically NBA quality, and we should point yeah. out... Uh, Robbins and Covington stepping up. The market value of that floor, Joe, was yeah. $130,000. Are you kidding me? And they went in and uh, laid and it in. It's amazing. Out. They Love did it. it in real time. They were watching and said, get over there, fix the floor up. Yes. I, 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 it's wonderful. They stepped up to the That's plate. We thought, we thought Digger Phelps was crazy. Well, he is crazy. Well, we, he, he is. gets things crazy. done. Get, you got to give him that. Crazy can be good. <laughs> and Rodney, you all made a pledge at Starbucks, too, that day uh, in November in New Orleans. Tell us about the work, uh, some of the money that you have pledged uh, has achieved there at McDonough. Well, it was a part of a greater pledge that we made. When Katrina hit, Starbucks, like other individuals and corporations, felt compelled to act. So back in 2005, we made a five million five-year commitment to the, re to the relief efforts here in New Orleans in this region. And, so, and then back in November, when we were here with you, volunteering with the students from the school and with City Year, we saw the needs, the great need for, at, at the school, and we pledged to help bring back a critical community space for the school, and that's the auditorium. So we committed to replacing the roof, as well as the ceiling and the sound mm. system for the auditorium. It's so great. And, and, and great. That, that is great work. And another challenge that was issued on the air, Digger said, for God's sakes, it's raining in the auditorium. <laughs> These kids are going to assemblies with umbrellas. Yeah. Somebody step up and get that and done. And done. Starbucks stepped up and, uh, and it got it done. Cornelius, tell us what the floor looks like. It looks beautiful from where we're sitting. How's it going to help your game this year? Oh, it's going to help my game a lot. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I was seeing it improving yesterday as I was playing basketball in the gym. Um, the, course, the floor is nice, though. I like it. No. It, 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 like that. It's level, it's shiny, it's beautiful. Great job by all you guys. Cornelius, good luck this season. All right. Jay Stair with Robbins, thank you so much for stepping thank up the you. plate the way you did. And Rodney Hines of Starbucks, great work all around, making John McDonough High School in New Orleans a much better place. Thank you all. Good luck, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we were honored to be asked. Oh, my right. gosh. Thank we you so much it. for making this possible.